And if you manifest positive things, whatever you desire in that, um, and if you manifest positive things in your life, such a, and if you manifest <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mags and today we are going to be creating a vision board for 2022. If you haven't heard of or if you haven't made a vision board before, it's basically a visualization of all the goals that you have and I like to make one every year um, as part of my goal setting. Um, if you haven't seen my goal setting video, I will link it below as well. That was my first video, but today we'll be creating vision boards. So vision boards are very closely linked to the law of attraction as well as positive affirmations. And if you haven't heard of the law of attraction, basically it is the belief that if you put out positive energy into the universe, you will receive positive energy back. And if you manifest positive things into your life, whether it's love, success, money, whatever it is, you will eventually receive it. And if you want to learn more about vision boards, I will post some links below. One of my favorite YouTubers, Amber Scholl, actually got me onto this and she has manifested the life of her dreams. And Oprah Winfrey, for example, also talks about it a lot, so can't go wrong. For myself, I have manifested, I wanted a dog, I wanted to live in my own apartment by myself, I wanted a job that I love and to be good at it. And these are all things that I have manifested and think about every single day and made them a reality. I think the most important thing about vision boards is that once you've completed it, you actually put it somewhere highly visible. So for me, I'm gonna put it next to my desk or you could put it anywhere in your room, your office, wherever you're gonna see it every single day. And it reminds you of what you're aspiring to achieve in that year or whatever timeline that you've given yourself for this particular vision board. So what you're gonna need is a memo board. I bought this one from Officeworks and it was $10, but you definitely don't need to buy something. You can use a piece of paper. You can do it digitally these days. You could use poster paper. I just personally like to have something physical that I can hang on the wall and look at it every day. And of course, I'll be using this over and over again. So to me, it's definitely not something that will um, just be used the one time. Also printed the photos that I'm going to use on photo paper and I did this by the Snapfish website but you can of course use your own printer if you have one or you can find images in magazines whatever is easiest for you. So if you would like to create a vision board follow along and let's get into it. Okay so let's get started on creating our vision board. So some of the graphics like the 2022 um, and this quote that I want to include I created in Canva which is free to use it's very fun, very easy to use. And some of the other images that I'll show you are from a website called Unsplash. And you want to be using images that are license free so that you can legally use them. Whereas I find that although the images that you can find on Pinterest are great, we don't actually necessarily have the usage rights to use them. And even though you're just using them personally, I think it's um, always good to use images that you have the rights to use so i will link below the website that i use and you basically just search whatever image you're looking for download it um, and you can use that um, freely so what we want to start doing is cutting out the images i like to use a craft knife um, and a ruler but of course you can just use scissors as well if that's easier for you In terms of the categories, in terms of the images that you want to include, it really depends on what your goals are and what you want to achieve.
So next, now that we have all our images cut out, it's time to start arranging them however we like. So in the middle, I want to have 2022. And one of the affirmations that I want to focus on next year, I actually heard it in a reel of one of the YouTubers that I follow. Her name is Jordi Stevenson. And she also inspired me to create a vision board a few years ago as well. Anyway, she was meditating or journaling and in her reel, there was like an affirmation being played on the background and it was like, everything that I need, I already have. Everything that I have is all that I need. Anything that I desire, I will receive because my reality is created by me. Sorry if that was really terrible. Hopefully you get the idea, but I really liked this affirmation and I wanted to include it on my vision board for next year. Uh, next, a little bit, you know, materialistic perhaps, but I have wanted this Louis Vuitton BB Alma handbag for a number of years now. Um, so I'm going to will it into existence next year. In terms of travel, I absolutely love Italy. I went back in 2018. I really wanted to go last year or the year before, but obviously with the pandemic, we weren't able to travel I'm not sure if we will be able to travel in 2022 yet, but I really, really love Italy and I want to discover more of it. This is a photo of the Cinque Terre, which is where I would like to go next time that I go. But in the meantime, even if I don't get to go, I still want to keep up my Italian lessons. So for me, this is a reminder of Italy and being able to go there one day. This image turned out a little bit washed out, but it's actually an image of a piggy bank and it's just a reminder to work towards my savings goals and my investment goals and to be really choiceful and mindful about my money and my spending next year. This is an image of someone's desk um, or their home office and where I'm currently living, my lease is up next February and I'm really looking forward to actually moving into a different apartment just because uh, this apartment, whilst I love it, is a little bit dark um, and I really want a uh, space that has a lot of natural light and so I'm manifesting finding you know an apartment that I absolutely love and I want to be able to set up a really nice home office because I predominantly work from home pretty much full time so I really like to have a really amazing and comfortable and warm um, office space. This represents YouTube. This is me starting out my YouTube. I love YouTube. I love watching vlogs. I love watching tutorials. And I by no means know where this will take me. But for now, it's a really great creative outlet for me. Um, I'm enjoying learning all about the filming process, the editing process, and so on. And I'm keen to, you know, even if it doesn't work out for me or whatever happens next year with this channel, I just want to know that at least I gave it a try. I tried something different, I learned new skills, I have a new hobby and that's I think the most important thing for me. Now these two go hand in hand. Um, this is just an image that says and breathe and this one is of a person meditating and I think they go hand in hand for what I want to achieve mental health wise because I am a very anxious person um, I get stressed quite easily um, and I know that meditation is a really important part of self-care and a really important part of looking after our mental health and mental well-being but to be honest I just haven't prioritized it I find it really challenging to just sit down and meditate so this is definitely something that I want to work on next year And of course, and breathe. This is just a reminder to myself to, yeah, just take a moment and breathe. Because I find that when I slow down my breathing, um, you know, when I'm really stressed at work or going through a really hard time, when I actually take the time to just breathe, take a deep breath, slow it right down, it really does make a difference. This next one is fitness related. So because of lockdown, I quit my regular gym. Um, I've just been working out at home or going for runs every day. But once I move into my new apartment, I would really love to find a new gym that I really enjoy going to. Really want to get back into lifting weights again. 
and maybe even trying a different type of exercise. So whether it's boxing or hit class, anything, um, just something a bit different. And lastly, this is a tweet from Amber Scholl, the YouTuber that I mentioned earlier, and it just says, you will wake up one day wildly in love with who you are and who you're becoming. And I think I've just gone through a massive amount of self-development and professional development this year. So I feel that, you know, I have come a long way in terms of loving myself and loving the life that I live, but I think I still have a long way to go. And this is just a reminder and something that I want to manifest into reality. So I will put it on my vision. So we actually have quite a bit of space to play with. I thought that it would be quite cramped, but actually the memo board I got was pretty big. So it's quite gappy, but that's okay. Um, I obviously don't have time to print out more images or make them bigger, which is totally fine. I think what I will do is just put the images close together and overlap them a bit more, um, just so that it looks a bit fuller. And now instead of pinning them all on, I'm going to use double-sided tape. So I have a packet of, they're not even push pins actually, they're just a packet of really cheap studs that I brought from Kmart ages ago to use as push pins. So I'm going to just punch little holes using a pin into some of the corners. Just so they stick down a bit better and looks cute. 
don't have to do this. I just thought it would be cute to have little pins. Obviously, you can, you can use actual push pins. I just happen to have these little studs still. This is my 2022 vision board. Is it as full visually as I would like it? No, but I'm okay with that. I think it still turned out really, really good. And I like the images that I chose and the affirmations. I think they really represent the goals and the things that I want to manifest and make a reality next year. So I think that's the most important part. I think I could have chosen a memo board that was a little bit smaller just so that the images do take up more of the space and make it look fuller. But I think I'll just keep in mind for next year when I create it, I'll just print the images a little bit larger so that it takes up a bit more space. But otherwise, really happy with it. I really hope that you found this video inspiring and you'll create your own vision board for next year. Comment down below if you do end up making one and let me know what you would like to manifest into your life next year. I really want to hear about it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I am fairly new to YouTube, but I will be creating more videos in the coming weeks and months. And I'd really love to have you along for the journey. So thank you and I'll see you next time.